Let us pray. Dear gracious God, I come to say thank you for this day. say to a person if you were asked to describe what God is like? Would you tell that person God is love, yeah. powerful, infinite, sovereign, and the creator of the universe? Would you ever think to say that God is good? He was good today. Yes. He was 
will be good forever. You see, God's nature will never change. That means that God can't ever change. He was good in the past, good today, be good in the future. In Malachi 3, 6, we read, but I am God, I am the Lord, I change not. We count on God always being good. For God to stop being good, his nature and character would have to change. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. God is expressing his goodness towards you and I today. Four times in the 107th Psalm, we read these words about the goodness of God expressed towards the world of humanity. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful work to the children of men. God is so kind to give us wisdom, direction, provision, yes. and life itself. Oh, yes. Well, you are a recipient of the goodness of God Amen. every day of your life. Amen. Are you aware of the great truth? God is good all the time. God is good. God employs his goodness towards you and I. Romans 2, 4 says, Oh, despised are the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads them to repentance. Wow. The goodness of God is manifest in his desire to forgive our sins. Wow. Psalm 86, 5 says, For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and put it in mercy to all them that call upon me. And we do need mercy. Amen. Because every day we do something that's not like God. Amen. Even before we get to church, we might have done something that was not like God. But because of his goodness and because of his grace, he allowed us to be here. God is ready to forgive any person who is willing and who will admit and confess that they are a sinner. And that they need to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Right. God's goodness is manifested towards us by his dispensing of grace to live on in this world. The Lord is continue, the Lord is continuously giving to you and I everything that is good. Amen. In fact, he encourages us to come and receive from him. Uh -huh. Hebrews 4, 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Yeah. I think of the times that I, that I needed strength from the Lord when I had problems. And there was nobody else that could help me but the Lord. Nobody. Sometimes we want, we want to depend on other people. Mm -hmm. But the only one that can help us is the one that made us. Yes. The yes. one that knows about us. He knows everything about us. Exactly. Because in this life, sometimes we say we trust the Lord, well, but do we really trust him? We doubt from a lot of things that we should be doubting about. Because some people are waiting for certain things to happen in their lives. But we have to realize when Jesus Christ takes it, it, he gave everything that we need to live on this earth. God has given it to us. We don't, need to have, we don't have to worry about anything. Because God is good. And all the time, God is good. Does God ever stop being good? No. No. For God to stop being good, his nature would have to change. Yeah. Who does God invite to experience the goodness? The answer is that he invites you 
to experience his goodness. Psalms 34 and 8 said, Oh, take that seat. That the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. In spite of God's goodness toward people, there are many who do not believe that God is good. In fact, many people think that God is good some of the time. That he is not good all the time. Because they don't know him as Savior and Lord. They equate God's goodness with their circumstances. Mm. They do not see the value and purpose of everything that God allows to happen in life. Well, mm -hmm. They are not willing to acknowledge God in the life that he has given them. Mm. That's right. They do not understand the nature and character of God. Right. That is why we have to study the word and learn about Father. To learn of his nature and his character. Amen. If we don't know who he is, why would we accept him? Well, but God is good all the time. All the time, yes, he is. All the time God is good. Yes. We have to trust and believe him. Because he said his word, he'll never leave us, never nor forsake us. Yes. If you look at your hymnals, the hymn writer writes, Think of his goodness to you. When you read the words, it says, when waves of affliction sweep over the soul, and somebody is hidden from you, if ever you're tempted to fret or complain, just think of his goodness to you. The world may forsake you, and those whom you trust may prove to be false and untrue. There's one you can trust even unto the end, just think of his goodness to you. Misfortune's right. dark cloud may hang over the way, despite your best effort to do. The Savior is guarding your treasures up there. Just think of his goodness to you. When dear ones are taken away from you here, you love with affection so true. Look unto the Savior the strength to endure and think of his goodness to you. Just think of his goodness to you. Yes, think of his goodness to you. Those storms which we he is able to keep. Oh, think of his goodness to you. When things happen in your life, think of his goodness to you. Because Jesus said, he goes away when he's coming back. And if we look around, it says, no man knows the day, no man knows the hour, but the Lord is on his way back. We need to be ready and tell that word out there that Jesus Christ is on his way back. Amen. Because when you look around and you see things going on, we're living in 2024, a time I never thought I would see. But God's goodness brings it back to everybody. Amen. We have to trust him Amen. and think of his goodness to us. Amen. Because he is the only one that we can trust in. Some people want to put their trust in man. Some people put their trust in alcohol. Some people put their trust in God, in drugs. But they never put their trust in the one who made them. But when you think of his goodness to you and what he has done for you, yes. then you know who you are and you know what's going on in your life that God is going to make everything to be all right. Amen. We have to think of his goodness to you. Yes. We, have a, we have an adversary that does not want us to worship God. Well, he will do anything in his power to turn us away from following the Lord. And when he turns us away from following the Lord, there are people that are watching us. Amen. And if we fall, people are looking for us. But they shouldn't look at man. They should look for God. But they look at us. They're going to fall. 
That's why we got to look to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Because when we look to man, man will fall. Man will let you down. Every time, man will let you down. But God never lets you down. No matter what goes on in your life, you can always depend on God. Just think about some of the things that happen in your life. Some people might say, where was God then? But God is always by our side. Sometimes things happen to us to teach us a lesson. Because we need to learn something. And God will allow it to happen to us. But we have to trust him and know that he is not going to let anything bad happen to us. Because we are his children. He made us, and he said he'll come back for us. He went away to establish a mansion for us on high. And we have to trust and believe in it, because one of these days, we're going to walk into that mansion that's already been paid for, bought and paid for by Jesus Christ. Amen. We're in that mansion, shut the door, and don't worry about a thing, because God is going to be our life. He's going to shine everything. We don't have to worry about no darkness no more. We don't have to worry about no more crying or anything no more. Because God said he's going to wipe away all our tears. We just have to trust and believe in the Lord. Just think of his goodness to you. So the way of affliction come about you, just think of his goodness to you. So storms come by you, just think of his goodness to you. Because God is good. And all the time, God is good. We have to trust and believe in him. Because he said he's coming back. And he didn't have to die for us. But because he loved us so much. He said, Father, give me, give me a pipe. I will go down and die for man's sins. Because there was nobody here that could die for man's sins. And the prophets, nobody. Nobody was righteous as God. Only Jesus Christ. Amen. He came down there for one specific purpose. He did other things here. But his specific purpose was to save us and bring us back to the Father. Amen. Which he had done if we trust and believe in him. So we have to trust and believe in the Lord. Because we look around every day, things get worse and worse. Amen. Sometimes you think it can't get no worse. And you look around. But we look and we depend on the Lord because he said he would never leave us nor forsake us. We have to trust him. We, in, this, in this life, we can't trust nobody down here. People say, you trust me. I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. But you can't trust nobody because people are being led by the evil one. And don't even know they're being led by the evil. We have an enemy down here that would love to take us to hell with him. And if you don't want to go to hell with Satan, think of the goodness to you and let Jesus Christ be your Savior. Because he has opened the doors for you. The doors of my father's house are open. If there be one that would like to accept Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, you may come at this time. Just think of his goodness to you. Look over the edges. 